Hey, Magic fans, my name is Adam, also known as Dead Pine on the internet, and welcome to week one of the Prismatic Sealed League. We're really excited to share this unique and very fun way to play Commander with you, but before we get into the deck text and the gameplay video, we want to do a little, really quick recap on how this league is going to work. So Tom, Ian, Aaron, and myself have all opened up a full sealed draft box of Dominar United and have constructed Commander decks from those pools. And then every week after we do our gameplay, we're going to be adding three Brothers War set booster packs to our pool so we can improve our old decks, completely change our decks if we open up a new commander or open up some new sweet rares that we want to add to an, uh, a different older commander that we open up. So it's it's going to be a wild ride. Not everybody's decks are going to stay the same. Some people's decks will stay the same the entire league. It's going to be a really fun time. Um, we'll hope you join us for this epic, epic journey as we improve our decks week to week and share the excitement and opening packs with the purpose of playing Limited Commander. Be sure you check out the description down below for all the box opening videos, as well as a full playlist of this first season. Okay, first on deck, we have me. Uh, and this week I chose to play Rith Liberated Prime Evil. For those who watched the box opening video, uh, yeah, they may have gotten that right away. It was one of the first commanders I opened, if not the first. Um, I won't spoil too much of the video, but yeah, go check that out. But uh, just playing, basically playing Naya good stuff um, and hoping to get a good draw. Like I've got like a really like mediocre half of the deck and a really powerful half of the deck, and I'm hoping to just draw the powerful half of the deck here. So really straightforward. Um, I almost ended up playing blue-black this week uh, because it's more my play style. Presenting a big old lethal threat um, or big threats and just being proactive is not really my play style. I like to play reactive. I like to sit back and draw cards and kill stuff and punish people who attack me type of play. But you know what? I decided to try something new, try something fresh for this start of this league. Um, and yeah, we've got uh, we've got some nice stuff. We've got some nice rares. We did open up quite a few Naya rares. We got a Sweet Land. I did want to point out this this Sweet Tech with the Thran Portal. Because there's domain cards in this format, um, Thran Portal is something you can play in every deck, but I can name Swamp with this. That that follows the rules of, uh, of Commander. So I can name Swamp with this, and some, for instance, my something like my Jota's Codex will then cost one to activate instead of two. It's a really rare outside edge case, but I thought that was some clever tech for the, uh, you know, kind of nigh straightforward deck. Um, I will definitely be the person in this league who's going to be playing a lot of different decks. I love to build decks. I love to change decks. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you would change about this, or if you'd play a different commander to start us off with. All right, next on the list is Aaron. Aaron, who are you playing this week? Uh, I'm playing a five-color Jota the Unifier deck. Um, in these types of leagues... The sealed pool can be uh, kind of limited, so having access to all five colors is extremely helpful. And it also helps that Jota capitalizes off of legendary spells, and there are a ton of uncommon legendary spells uh, that I get to play. Uh, since I'm in five colors, I also get to uh, activate domain to its uh, full power, such as uh, Territorial Marrow is a full-on 10-10 which uh, other people might not be able to do who aren't playing five colors. It also gives me uh, access to play all my best rares. Um, in addition, I'm playing just about all the mana fixing I can get. I'm playing a couple cards like Shore Up and Battle Rage Blessing to kind of project uh, protect my Jota. Um, in addition, it was uh, nice I cracked the Timely Lotus. In addition, I uh, was fortunate to uh, crack six rare lands. Um, the Thram Portal, and some of the Painlands. Hopefully, uh, that will give me the fixing I need in combination with the common tap lands to uh, be able to pilot my way to a victory. Back to you, Adam. Looks pretty powerful. Can't, see what it, can't wait to see what it does this week. All right, up next is Tom. Tom, who's your general this week? So I ended up playing Soul of Windgrace as my commander this week. Typically when we play these leagues, I start by um, looking for a commander that either has some effect that I can actually attempt to use somewhat frequently, or uh, a commander that allows me to play like the highest density of good cards that I open. Luckily for me, um, Soul of Windgrace was both of those things, being in Jund, giving me access to three colors, and um, I could build around it a little bit. I have some commons and uncommons that have a little bit of interaction with land. Um, I also ended up with a decent amount of rares from my pool that also just happened to work for those colors. So it kind of just seemed like the standout card to go for. 
Sounds like a spicy brew. Can't wait to see how it plays. Last but certainly not least, we have Ian. Ian, who are you playing this week? So, unfortunately, I'm playing the ever-changing Dane, as I would have liked to play my nice fancy shoulder down here. Uh, just not not enough cards opened in, in the color of choice for this. Um, but I'm going to be playing kind of an aristocrat-esque style deck here. My commander lends itself to being a sack outlet itself. That'll activate and help work out cards like Ellis Ilkor, um, as well as uh, Radadrabic, which will let me copy some legendary creatures um, and have multiple copies of them in conjunction with my commander. I, I'm i also running some mild control, counter spells, combat tricks to keep my pieces in play, uh, as well as some mass removal in the form of uh, drag to the bottom here and the phasing of Zalfir. A little bit of fixing from Meteorite and Relic of Legends, and everyone likes a big gold ship, so we'll see how that plays out. Very nice. Looking forward to seeing it in action. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you want to see how our decks look and how we built from our pools, there's links down below to all of that. And uh, let us know down in the comments uh, what you change or what generals you would choose from the different pools. And look forward to seeing you for the gameplay. Welcome back from the deck techs. Uh, up in the top left corner, we've got myself, Deadpine, with Rith in the blue sleeves. I rolled an eight. Um, in the top right corner, we've got Aaron with Joda in the silver sleeves. In the bottom left, we've got Ian with the ever-changing Dane, which is just, that's a fantastic name for a card, um, in the, uh, in the green sleeves. And in the bottom right, we have Solar Wind Crace, piloted by Tom in the black sleeves. Uh, mulligans are resolved. We're all rolled up. I'd say we're ready to play. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, to note, our mulligan rules is one free mulligan and then normal London mulligan from there. Okay, I will draw because multiplayer. And I'll play a Sacred Peaks tapped and pass. All right, uh, I'm going to draw, play a tapped Radiant Grove, and pass the turn. Who's next? Is it me? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to be a non-tapped land boy, and I'm going to play a Swamp first, oh, tap it, and play a Cult Conscript, which enters tapped. And oh, man. Pass. You're not supposed to have turn one, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw for turn. This is, this is, this is Commander. What's, what's wrong with you? I will also play an untapped land as a Swamp, oh. or as an island. And I was going to say, that's pretty fancy if that's a Swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass at that point. No nice. turn one play. Yeah. Yeah, like a like a real EDH player, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna play a forest and pass. Right. Guess that's my turn, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we're gonna watch right here, get a sweet island on the board, and uh I'm ready for first blood to happen. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> Oh, is that permission to attack you? Because, you know, I Absolutely. will do so. <laughs> I am just five colors. On my turn, so I'm going to draw two. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'll play a Carplusen Forest tapped. Is that how you say that? I'm assuming that's how you well, say that. that. No. Does it come into play tapped? I don't think it comes into play tapped. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, look at that. I'm not yeah. used to this set yet. How, yeah, how, do, you, how do you look at that? Hey, Tom, based on my um, colors, I'll give you five reasons to attack me. All right, well, five <laughs> reasons to do two damage, I suppose. Then I'll swing uh, my cult conscript at you. Yeah, I'm done to 38. And uh, then I will pass the turn. Damn. Wonderful. Ruthless. Drop the turn. Ooh. This game's going to be over in, like, two minutes. That's, That's a right. lovely card. <laughs> I will now... Play a swamp. Nice. And I will play everyone's favorite card, Knight of Dusk Shadows. Ooh. Just keep in mind, no one can gain life now. That's like I said, fast game. Good. And then I'll pass. <laughs> All right. Draw. 
That was my whole uh, thing. I let him attack me because I had all this life gain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will play a mountain and pass. Yeah. I may have kept a hand that was all lands. Better than no lands. Interesting choice. You know what? That's the thing is like in goldfishing this deck a little bit, I was seeing a lot of hands with no lands. So I was like, yeah, you know what? A six land hand. Let's do it. <laughs> um, I'm going to play. Okay, good. The hard name to say. Elas Eelcore. Sadistic Pilgrim. <laughs> That's nice. a mouthful. That is yeah, definitely right. a mouthful. Yeah, no. It, Too bad you uh, can't gain life from that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm done. All right, I'm going to untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. I'm going to play a forest. And then I will uh, swing at Aaron for two with the cult conscript. All right. I am down to 36. Best turn. Shouldn't have put a target on my head. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good strat was you not. Gave permission. Now I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> I'm going to play another island. Um, you know what? I will tap one island to enchant my Knight of Dust Shadows uh -oh. with combat research. So whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I get to draw a card. It's not legendary, so it doesn't get any other fancy abilities. Um, and I'm going to swing into at Tom. Ah, oh, how dare you. Alright, 38. Now combat damage was dealt. I get to draw. And then I will pass my turn. Alrighty. Draw. Ooh. That is an interesting one. Unfortunately, I can't play it yet. Otherwise, I'd have to discard. Um, Alright. I'm going to play a Mountain. And then I will play a Defiler of Instinct. Well, red defiler. Four four first strike. Does some stuff. And I'll yeah, pass. He does. Never have I seen a uh, a two two death toucher be so useless against <laughs> <laughs> two first strikers and a two one that I don't want to trade with. <laughs> oh boy. Well the Woo! knight has a uh, menace, not first strike. The it's the white knight that has or the Oh strike. okay. Yeah, but either yeah. way, he still, still can't, can't block it, it. yeah. Still can't block. <laughs> You know, uh, I'm going to play a Haunted Mire in the play tapped, and uh, I'm going to pass turn. 36 life. Healthy. <laughs> Healthy. Untap. Draw. Um, let's see. What am I doing this turn? Um, I guess I will play a... Swamp. Uh, that thing's got first strike. Yikes. Yikerino. Sure does. Um. I will pass the turn at that point. Radio. Untaps. Draw. That's funny. Um. Yeah, let's uh, let's spread the love around. I'm gonna enter combat and dead final swing you for two. I'll take it. Thirty-eight. Nice menace gets through almost everything. <laughs> Draw my card off of damage, and that's a load of barnacles. <laughs> I I will respectfully pass at that point. Uh oh. Lands. Is there a way that one could disrespectfully pass? <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably. Draw pass, turn. and you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew it. Um, hmm. I'll play a planes. There's some choices here. I don't know how much I like that. 
Uh, who wants to be friends? That's really the question. <laughs> I know I mean, just attacked you, but... there. <laughs> you did just attack me. That's the problem. I'm the uh, only one who hasn't attacked you. I mean, if we're not friends, I'll be your enemy. True, but you're also <laughs> missing land drops, and I want you to be able to play this game. So I'm going to play uh, Love Song of Night and Day, uh, and oh, Ian and I boy. will both draw two cards. Going to kick it off on Chapter 1. Lovely. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. One, two... I couldn't play it last turn, otherwise I would have had to discard, so that's why I did it this turn. Uh, I will pass. All right. This card only applies if I have more than seven at my end step, right? Yes. <laughs> Fortunately. Okay. I'm going to play that guy. Forest. Got four of my colors. I'm missing, uh, missing one of them, but that's okay. High spirits. Um... <laughs> Let's see. I think I've just got to pass. Wow. Eventful game. I mean, I'm, I'm wide open. <laughs> Draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play a mountain. Then I will tap a five using my um, Carpulsen Plusen. Carpulsen, I suppose. Forest, uh, dealing damage to myself, going to 37. Uh, and I will cast a Defiler of Vigor. Dang. And uh, after that, I will... Um... Um, I'm actually going to Essence yep. scatter that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, that's <sighs> gone. I was hoping yeah. to save that for Rith, but well, I didn't just run in. it out. Oh, boy. Yeah. Let's see what this lovely card is. Green Defiler is really scary. Yeah, I know it is. That's not a lovely card. I think I think you mean planes? I mean, I wish. <laughs> um, the only person I haven't attacked this game is Aaron. Let's throw down. For two? Or yeah, for pumping? two. No, just oh. two. Boom. 34. Combat damage. Trigger. Oh, boy. I'll play an island. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, am I going to do anything with that island? Nah. <laughs> um, so I'll then go to any step where I have to discard. Okay. Uh, two cards. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I could have played that, but I'm gonna get rid of a pilfer. And. Yeah, why didn't you play pilfer? Eh, I didn't want to deal with it. Drag to the bottom. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, I mean, my hand is. I mean, respectfully all... stacked. I was gonna say, if it's all spells. <laughs> Um, and then the last thing I'll get rid of is this citizen's arrest. Yeah. What are the chances I get to play double white this game? Mm. <laughs> then Seems I'll pass. low so far. <laughs> okay, uh, untap, upkeep, draw, and then love song of night and day triggers goes to two. I get a bird. Okay. So I think our hands are very, very opposite right now. Ian, play a forest. I'm saying we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will then play a kicked scout the wilderness. Uh, so I'm just gonna get a land, play tapped. I think I'm gonna be getting a planes. Uh, get two one one soldiers. Um, but I'm not gonna attacking, and I will pass the turn after that. Just to... all right. Can't play a lot of these cards. Ooh. Let's do... Let's just play this guy. <laughs> why, why can't I say any of my cards? Uh, Zar Ojinin, Scion of Ethrava. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
playing the Jota deck with all the, <laughs> all, the, the legendaries. all the legendaries. <laughs> Seriously, it's just like, all right, um, all right. So I'm going to, uh, all right. Let's let's start drawing some blood here. Uh, Ian, I'm going to hit you for two, with a two-two. Yep. Beat the man while he's down. Also, right. the uh, that's the first instance of night preventing life gain. Just <laughs> of what? Keep, oh yeah, of the, yeah, yeah. Of the yeah. night preventing life gain to keep track of how much life that thing uh, negates. <laughs> that sickens me. All right, <laughs> <laughs> after that, I'm done. I will untap and draw. All right. Um, I'm gonna play a mountain. Huh, what do I want to do here? How does this work? I have to think about how this works for a moment. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. How dare you think in a game? Does sarcasm. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Don't you worry. See, Adam, I was really hoping you were running Rith out on mm. that uh, that one play. Not in, not in four player. Yeah, I know. <laughs> one v uh, one, yeah. You're not me. I'll pass. Oh boy. Untap. Come on, man. Ooh, I will actually. I'll be real happy with this. I'm gonna play a, a swamp as line for turn. Nice. Um. Uh oh, I smell shieldred. What do you mean? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if you're happy about a swap, I smell children. <laughs> I'm going to play children. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Um, can I take back those two cards? <clears throat> uh, it was in my hand oh. since the beginning. Oh, fair, fair. To make matters worse, Ian can gain life and we can't? I know, yeah, right? I can gain life. <laughs> oh. So, um, God. Ooh, you're let's the worst. See. Hmm. You're the worst. I'm the worst, Aaron. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Well, let's do battle. That's the yeah. classic EDH mantra. Just like so, yeah, that one's that one's Aaron talking. For two. Uh, and then, oh, what's that? I get to draw a card, and <laughs> Shouldered lets me uh, whenever I draw a card gain two life. Guys, he's winning. Go for him, so quick. <laughs> Um, I, I kind of regret then, letting you draw two cards. <laughs> uh, and then with that, I will pass with a full hand of seven. Okay. Well, he's got a shieldred. You're fine. Tap, upkeep, draw, take two. Yep. Okay. Well, at least you're not drawing two cards now. True. Uh, love song. We'll get some counters. I'm going to put one on the defiler. One on the bird. That goes away. All right. I will then play infinite lands. Be nice. Yeah. Like I said, I think I'm pretty sure we're having that opposite opposite problem there. <laughs> um, just to keep Ian in check a little bit, we're going to swing for two in the air. Gonna gain way too much life, probably. Just two in the air. Just two in the air. I know it's kind of right. lame. I'll flip flop between thirty-eight and forty for a while. <laughs> uh, second main, I'll go ahead and play uh, an elf haim worm. Nice. And I'll pass. All right, here we go. The turn we've all been waiting for. Really, okay. really quick before you untap. What is the last trigger on your turn? I can respond to. Is it the end step? End step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then, um, so here's the thing I'm a little confused about, so perhaps you all can help me here. What I want to do mm -hmm. is I want to uh, twin Inferno something on the end of uh, Adam's turn. Am I able to do so, or how do I do that correctly? Yeah, just twin Inferno, you still... I still maintain you can respond. You can respond to the twin Inferno, you let it resolve, and then you can still respond to the end step. Or just say right, hold cool. priority or whatever. Or you can't hold priority, it's not your turn, but yeah. 
right, but yes, you so can do what that. I'm going to do here before uh, your land before the end of um, Adam's turn is I'm going to tap two and twin Inferno. I'm going to let it resolve, and then I'm going to uh, cut down and destroy both Shildred and the um, Czar Ojan and Scion of Ephrava. That's that's cut down no, as cut, to yeah, every cut it's down total. Again. Yeah. Toughness oh, it's total and power, power toughness. Yeah, Goodness yeah. gracious. Well, then, this is not very much useful of a card as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Then I do none of that. Okay. Have fun with your turn. <laughs> yeah. And cut down's still pretty good. It's not bad. It's It's but... efficient. It's just, yeah. <laughs> You could it's... go kill the knight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, but... Eh. I, yeah, no. The knight's going to end up drawing Ian like 10 cards in this game. <laughs> I'm, I'm down to uh, 30. All right. Let's see. Can't be too upset, right? If... Uh... Can't be too upset if I'm just missing colors. I'm at least getting the lands I need. Mm. All right. Let's... Fair. I, I just don't want to just keep playing all the legendaries in my hand because if I ever get to play Jota... Mm. Um, this one's interesting. All right. Let's move on to the next card that I can't say its name. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play... Oh, I love this one. Rodadravic, a Verborg? Did you, you tell me. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I think that's decent enough. Yep. Sounds, All right. Sounds good. So. Sounds good. Yeah, that card is good. Um, God, I want to attack, but I feel bad. I don't want to, I don't want to attack. Tom's the only one I can feasibly attack. I don't want to Go do for that. It. I mean, you, you do that stuff, touch. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. All right. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, death touch battles. Right. Yeah. So, okay, here's what's going to happen. We're going to swing with these guys. So his trigger goes. I get a 1-1 uh, one, one counter on each creature with domain that's less than four. So that's that guy. He gets a counter. Um... This guy is going to swing at Tom, but this guy is going to swing at Ian. Mm. Oh, wait, I don't have any zombies, right? Nope. Nope. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take three. Yep. But Shelter could four kill four it. right now? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, might as well do this anyway. Um... I'll give, uh, I'm going to tap two and give Twin Inferno to Cult Concert and give it double strike. Perfect. Mm. All right, so here's here's a weird and thing then, that goes on here. Yeah. So, I say, Ian, you took your three, right? Yeah, I took my three. So, first of all, this guy dies uh, on the regular combat damage. So, each opponent's going to lose a life. Mm. Now, this guy, when he's a legendary creature, he control, he dies. So he dies. He goes to the graveyard. Um, I get a token of this guy that's a 2-2 black zombie uh, in addition to its other types, and it's not legendary. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I have these awesome custom tokens here that I'm just going to start working on, but I'm going to pass my turn. Nice. Okie dokie. Okay. So, he's got, so he's got the same ability, just... Yeah, so yeah. exact same thing, just a zombie and a... Czar? You don't, have to, you don't have to do the full name. Czar, Czar oh. is good. It's... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> so, oh, so, the funny so thing, much. though, is I'm extremely tempted to use that card you already know about to get rid of this thing, because I really don't want it on the field. Why? Wait, he doesn't even but do then... all that much. What? Can he give, like, pluses to each, each of your creatures eventually? Maybe up oh. to fives, because you've, got, you've no. got a five-color deck? No, 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 no. It puts one oh, counter just, okay. on each one with power X or less. So I can't make my guys bigger than five fives. Five fives, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, but that's like anything. Oh, wait. That comes so this, guy, five. Five. So this guy yeah. also gets a kick. Yeah, well, you, do, you have, do you have four? Yeah, I have four. Okay. Yes. I, I was pretty sure you did. I just wasn't 100%. Yeah, I'm missing red. Yeah. And I, I'm done after that. I'm sorry. Oh, if I uh, say that clearly enough. Uh, 
And Tom, don't forget to take and... two when you draw. Oh, right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, 34. I'm going to tap four and play Soul Wind Grace, because it's about all I can do. Nice. And pass turn. It's nice. So. Card's a lot cooler in formats where people use a bunch of fetch lands so you can steal their fetch lands. Right. I'm gonna still draw. Good oh, it's a graveyard. I didn't even notice it's, that. It huh? is indeed a graveyard. Yeah. I'm gonna draw for turn, gain two life, and the moment I've been waiting for. It wasn't Shieldred. Planes. Oh, planes. Okay, I was gonna say it wasn't Shieldred. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. That I could die now. This is this is a good game. <laughs> um. Still drawing the token. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> um, I'm going to tap this planes, tap an island, and save us all a little bit. I'm going to play Destroy Evil, Are targeting you... Radadrabic. My Radadrabic? Yes. It's a 4-4 four four now. <laughs> Negate! I will Ooh. continue to draw. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you interrupt my drawing? How dare you? <laughs> when, I mean, you'd still be drawing. You just wouldn't have what? any more drawings. <laughs> I want to continue drawing. It's fun. <laughs> fine, fine by me. Um, hey, there he is. That's nice. That point i guess uh <clears throat> i i am gonna enter combat and tom i'm gonna swing at you for two sounds good uh i'll draw another card gain another two life and i'm just gonna pass okay I'm just kind of realizing why that negate was horrible and also why, like, this guy is really horrible right now. He has to tap to put a 1-1 <laughs> one, one counter on everything, and he has vigilance because he's a zombie. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice it would tap. come out with vigilance. That's funny. <laughs> well, oh, man, what an ability. I have not used my counter magic wisely. <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree with it. Um, okay. Uh, you know him, you love him. It's Riff. Well, Do well. I know him? Uh... I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you, uh, did you lose your two life by chance? I didn't. Oh my gosh, I'm a cheater. I'm terrible. Kick him out. That's fine. He's done. Uh, is Riff good? Uh, not yeah. Not the one counter magic. Right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're the only. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Get blue. laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, um, just, just let me know when your steps are when you're doing turn things. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing things. Uh, I'm going to. Oh man, if only first strike worth when you're fighting. Oh, I get to ping something for one. Sorry. Um. Because of the defiler. Mm. I will. It's not a lot better, if I'm being honest. You could have even saved yourself a mana and paid it with two life, too, as well, right? I could have, yeah. yeah. I get the feeling with that shield right out, I would have been, I'm going to want all the two life increments I can get. Mm -hmm. I will ping doesn't really matter i will i will ping ian's face for one man Got him. all right uh but i'm gonna tap one green i am i'm i'm casting tail swipe main phase i'm just trying to figure out on what to what god you know what children is staring you right in the yeah, face yeah but it has death touch i wish first strike worked on that <sighs> No, I'm tired of being drawn cards. I'm gonna I'm gonna tail swipe on um I could pump it twice, right? Okay. I'm I gonna make could. Defiler a six six and have it fight your knight. Uh, I'm gonna tap a swamp. 
in an island and play Battle Rage Blessing, give it Death Touch and Indestructible. Gross. Uh, I will... Uh, how, what's the power and toughness of that thing before it resolves? It's a 2-2 two, two that I could... He can pump. Pump in yeah. response. He, he can pump a response uh, and that will not work. Pump, right. yeah. Yeah. How much Uncle. How much does it cost to pump? Two. 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 Yeah, the last yeah two, so yes. I won't bother then. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that kind of sucks. All right, that's fine. Uh, I will then attack you with Ian for the insolence. Uh, a two-two bird and a five-four vigilance trample worm. Okay, yeah. seven. Okay. Yeah, insolence. <laughs> I take my two life now. <laughs> and I will I will pass. Does do you, doesn't Rip have end of turn? Only if I deal extra damage, which is the whole fight thing. Uh, Does it have to kill oh, it? Okay. Interesting. I actually think it does make the token. Yeah, because because it's it's still and, excess damage. It just didn't kill it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because right. you have to deal just, as much damage as you can to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, the, fight, the, fight, the, the fight's still dealt six still to it. It's excess just, it's whether or not it yeah. destroys okay. it or not. I will, I will get my dragon. Yeah, it's not like protection. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, it's not like protection that prevents yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a dragon. All right, Neat. let's... Uh, I already took my two life. Oh, snap. All right. Red line. There, there we go. Red source... Not quite a land. <laughs> Red source. Yeah, but let's. Mhm, mhm, mhm. All right. Man, that's awkward. Okay, I'll just tap five for meteorite. Nice. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, you know what? No, no. Tom, we're gonna work together here, buddy. You ready? Oh, we are. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna meteorite targeting that. Um, the knight. Okay. Okay. He's a two-two, isn't he? Yep. You, you're just gonna let it die. Yep, it dies. Okay, Tom, we didn't need to work together, but mission accomplished. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yep. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. That's one for the boys back home. All right. <laughs> uh, well, you know, because that's Pleasure something. Pleasure doing business with you. Yep. I, honestly, I was going to have him pump it so then you can kill it with the power and toughness. Yeah. <laughs> I saw what you were uh, going for, but then I was like, all right, cool. All right, all right. All right. Um, uh, yeah, if he's just going to let it die, he's just going to let it die. Yeah. That's How big is your uh, soul of wind grace guy? It's 5-4. Five, five, four. Four. Five four, what's not to like? Okay, um, your guys first strike. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit back. Um, wait, no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna tap both of these things, and uh, let's get to another card I can't pronounce. So, put that down there. <laughs> Again. All right, Belmore Battle Mage Captain. Okay, that one's not that bad. That was pretty good. That was good. That was yeah, good. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, and then I am done after that. All right. Oh, wait. I gain a life. <laughs> you do gain a life. Oh, yeah. man. Everyone life can is... gain lives now. Eh, life All is right. good. I will okay. untap and draw. Okay. I have to look something up again. Which, this is Apocalypse Shouldred? Yes, yes. Shouldred the Apocalypse. Right. Um, but you can't yeah. read Phyrexian? <laughs> not not yet, no. <laughs> I've been taking, like, you know, the Duolingo course on it. just hasn't mm. stuck yet. Could you imagine if they actually had a Duolingo course on it? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really funny. I, I think it's only a written language. Is it? Mm. As far as we know. I guess what I will do is I will tap a four and cast a Molten Monstrosity. Nice. 
Beautiful. And then I will pass. Hmm. All right. I will uh, draw gain two life. <laughs> we do so much work, and he just gets it all back. I mean, and by work, I mean like uh, it's not really that much. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap. Um, how much did you pay for that molten lunch dressing? I think four, right? Uh, three. 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 I should guess I yeah. should pay three. Yeah. Just, you should uh, have another I'll take, one. Uh, that back. Nice. There you go. I'm gonna I got you, buddy. Four to play this. Should be at thirty life too, because these children. Correction missionary. Oh, kicked. Nice. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna Don't return. You. Knight of the shadow to my hand. Oh, oh man, dare. we had we had one turn cycle to gain life, and now we just can't anymore. <laughs> oh, son of a nutcracker. And you know what? <laughs> let's just let's just get it out there. At least it's not drawing him cards anymore. Like, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Knight of Dust Shadow is back on the battlefield. Um, I could attack, but I'm not going to because I don't want to run into a buzzsaw in every direction. What do you mean? So. I'll uh, I'll pass. Okay. Um, tap. Nothing on upkeep. We'll go ahead and draw. Hey, look, more land. Nice. Um. Life, life, life. All right. Well, we have a lot of things that fly, huh? That's pretty neat. Sure is, pal. I try. I try. Uh, tapped out there. Could trade for those two. Not really the best. Don't need to do that. God, those things are going to get huge next turn when he plays Joda. That kind Maybe. of stinks. Um, Why would I go for you? I like gaining life. That's fair. That's fair. All right, let's do... We'll spread the love here. We're gonna go, uh, go to go to combat. If anybody has any things, I'm assuming no. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go two two bird at Tom. Yep. Four four dragon at Aaron, and Rith. I mean, it has vigilance. I should attack with it. But do I want? Yeah, I guess I don't mind trading with this. And we'll do the Rith and the Worm at Ian. Um, okay, so, uh, I guess I'm just going to resolve mine first. I'm going to take four. Okay. Good on 25. Any blocks from anybody else? I <laughs> can't do I... any. I will definitely double block the worm. Sure. We'll trade. Yeah. And because my toughness is five, I don't think you actually do any extra. No, I do not. Man. Unfortunately. And I gain two life. Oh, uh, actually, no, that's not true. I could choose not to kill one and, and overkill the other. Oh, that's true. Um. Yeah, I'm going to overkill the knight. You're welcome, okay. Aaron. So my missionary thank thank you for alive. that, but look at all those four four dragons. Yeah. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> Jeez. Um But I'm still gonna take all the wrist damage, so I still go down to twenty nine. Yeah, and five general, which yeah. potentially could be relevant, but I don't know. Um then I'm going to second main play a coalition sky knight. Um and then I will move to end step and get a dragon. Did you take your two damage this turn when you drew? I did not. I'm such a cheater. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> now that everyone's figured out my secret, that's the only way I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what I'm going to do? Game take life. two life. <laughs> <laughs> Down the but you, can gain it without, you can gain it back now. Just play some creatures. I sure can. Uh, okay, so 23, but I get to draw. All right. 
Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay. Well, now I have domain, because that's cool. Nice. Okay. Um, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Short. Um, going to tap like this, leaving these three open. Hey, Joda. Uh, in response, I'm going to just blow this uh, thing that I did, can't want to stop having to think about the cut down on the um, Balmore battle, blah, blah, blah. Mm. The Balmore battle? Yeah. Well, that is so cool because now I get to draw another token. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to draw that guy later. He's going to go here. But so here's my thing. So I gained two life. Two creatures have entered the battlefield this turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that creature died, so the rest of us lose one. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And then, uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I don't think I tap that any differently. All right. Um, kind of interesting because these two creatures are not legendary anymore, Indeed. technically. So mm. they don't get the buff off Joda, but Joda gives each of these guys plus three, plus three. Um, each of these two. Mm -hmm. uh... Gosh. He doesn't even care. He's got so many chump blockers. <laughs> um... I try. I'm assuming you're talking about me. Yeah. Okay, so here's what's going to happen here. I'm going to swing. Just with a. Elias Sadistic Pilgrim. At. Ian. I will take. Three. Uh, he six. gets plus three plus three. You take six. Oh, six. Yeah. Oh, I got a good idea. Uh, Aaron, grab a like a ten sided or a six sided and just have it like right underneath your or next to your Joda. For how many uh how many how, much... how many legendaries are out, yeah. Yeah. Uh maybe something a bit clear. Yeah. We just How's that? Do... Oh god, it's my my camera just set up like a bad angle or something. That's fine. Don't mess with it now. It's fine. It's fine. It's clear. Yeah. Or just you just use um a six sided for so now. D six, yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am done and very excited to draw Balmore. <laughs> All right, go ahead, guys. <laughs> uh, so, so basically, to make Aaron's day, we just got to kill creatures while uh, Urborg's out, so we can he can draw cards. <laughs> Use that life. Oh, there's something finally. Oh yeah, don't forget your shield would trigger. Yep. Oh, right. Yep. Thank you. Mm hmm. Uh, I think the guy have. with the shieldred should be the one reminding people. I, he did because he's doing this to us. <laughs> I have been. Jeez, that was a lot of that's a lot of text. You're gonna have limited uh, art space. You're gonna says write the you. ability on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on. No, I'm just drawing his head. Oh, man. There's so many bad things going on, and I got nothing to do about it. Um, I would say I feel that, do... but I think I, I get the feeling I'm one of the bad things, so. Yeah. One of? <laughs> yeah. Just, just hide this, these this two. This is man. mild in comparison. <laughs> yeah, that is mild. Yeah, Ian, Ian went from this is annoying to, oh, I don't care right now. Uh, um, it's actually, I think, actively helping me. Brutal. If it goes unanswered, it can certainly be. Uh, or if I have ways to do extra damage, which I don't always. Oh, 
Like, I think ta Tail Swipe is actually one of my best so... cards in the deck just for that reason, because it's a one mana way to mm. deal extra. Yeah. So, so Aaron, your your Jota's, what, an 8-8 eight, eight right now? And your, um... Yeah. Your other thing's a, uh, what? Which other thing, uh... So, the, uh, this guy's one, a 7... Yeah. yeah, this guy's a 7-7. Seven, seven. This guy's a 6-6. Hey. Six, six. This guy's a 2-2. Two, two, and this sweet eagle I'm drawing is also a 2-2. Two, two. Pretty good. There's Thanks, nothing man. I can do that's effective here. Um... I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just passed. There's nothing to do. Oh, boy. All right. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I feel like, guys, that flying is going to be pretty tough to beat. Draw. Game to I light. can't beat either of you. Like, I don't have anything to do anything against either of these. Oh, oh that's a fairly useless card at this point in the game. So the the decision becomes how much do I want to spend? Let's consider. I've I'm done considering. <laughs> Thought you're gonna play the card consider. I remember it wasn't in the set. <laughs> I'm gonna tap two, and I'm gonna play the Knight of Dawn's Light. Nice. Ooh, plays both of them. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Good I card. gained three light per card draw, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> rude. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's all I can responsibly do right now. <laughs> responsibly? <laughs> yeah. Since when are you responsible? Uh, <laughs> right now, the the fate of the planes depends on it. Hee <laughs> 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 hee. All right, I'll pa uh, yeah, I'm passing in. Okay, uh, I'll do untap upkeep draw. Go to twenty eight. See, I remember that time. Oh, uh, wait. How'd you blow up my Balmor? Cut down. Cut down. Uh, I was Jota. stupid. He get, was getting plus three, plus three from. No, Jota. no, no. In response to Jota, he did it. In response oh, okay, to cool, cool, cool. We're yeah. good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought I missed my own triggers. Okay, play yet another mountain. Uh, interesting. Got a two-two. Doesn't have that. How much do we have? We have fifteen. Seventeen. Interesting. Somebody could die if they don't have anything. The question I, is me with nothing. Is. But who? Uh, We're all leaving all the sun tap mana, all shaking in our boots, not actually having anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, six, do I have a... Seven. Goes for twenty-four. I mean, we kind of just have to go for that, I think. Uh, I will tap like this. We'll do eight total mana. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna play Shiv and Devastator with seven counters. Yep. The heck is that? That's a fun dragon. I, I did say in my box opening they were gonna be best friends forever, and they are. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. For the record, he has Ward two. He does have work. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. So if that resolves, um, that leaves me. Oh, that does leave me open to Jota, though. Huh. Leaves you open to Jota. Just do access damage to something. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Aaron, I'm going to swing at you. With Devastator, two dragon tokens. Okay. Ian, I'm going to swing at you with Rith. 
And I think that's it. Okay, so the dragon and the two. Okay, so it's and these these three that's are there. Eight, and that's fifteen. Uh, yep. Yikes! Yeah, I'm it's... just gonna take this five. Okay. That'll I put you at. A, I am at ten commander damage. Ten commander, yeah. It's funny because I mean, I could prevent seven of it. But this guy with an instant gives all my creatures plus one plus zero and trample, and that's the way I'm able to kind of swing back and try to come back at him. Um, so preventing that seven doesn't seem like it does a heck of a lot. I think I'm just going to take fifteen. Is it? Mhm. Mm cool. Go to ten. And I'll pass. Okay. Hey, no dragon token. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Don't forget to okay. lose two life. Oh boy. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Has anybody got a uh, brain geyser? Lose Target player two trolls. Life. How big how big is Rith? Five five. Hmm. Just don't see myself coming out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you give trample, like I like, uh, I don't know, I could very easily take enough for Ian and Tom to finish me off. No, I know. I don't have. I am um, not going to announce that I don't have an instant sorcery, but I don't think. <laughs> idea. Fair enough. Fair enough. Otherwise, that would be a self, fairly at least uh, obvious play. All right. Try and think of what would save me the most. What's not going to save you the most? What? Ignoring me and not taking your two damage. <laughs> <laughs> well that actually is unbelievably relevant <laughs> not liking that oh boy Ooh, my thing there it is all right um <laughs> things got wild over here all right i can do one two three one two i can take care of the devastator Um, some of those guys are legendary. All right, sorry, I'm taking so long here. Um, the, your dragons all have ward two, don't they? They sure do. Good old okay. So here's boxing here's, league math. <clears throat> here's what I'm gonna ask for you from someone. Uh, is there someone who doesn't care about one of their creatures between Ian and Tom? I don't care about this one. You don't mind that? Okay. Then I then I can live. <laughs> if you want me yeah, to I was live. Gonna say, I, I kind of need what I got. It's not much. <laughs> yeah. Um, I care about um, my creatures. Wait, you? I, that was the to the table okay, question. One, right? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus. And tap nine, right? One, two, three, five, oh. six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh. Okay. Devastator. <laughs> Vol uh, Validian. Oh boy. I'll move this guy in between. Uh, Validian Mindslinger. Uh, he's double kicked. And the extra two is for the ward two, the target Rith, and take uh, control of it. Yeah. Got a Rith. Yep. So I'm going to go there. Uh, got him. Yikes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me read that card again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gain control I'm, of target creature with power less than that uh, than his than power. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. So if you can pump it, that's tempting. Oh, yeah. um, that's really tempting. Oh, I'm just letting you know if really Rith does come this. over. Here's the oh, token man. for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of tempted just to let that token happen. 
but I think I think I'm gonna spend it now and just try to end this game. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a plus one plus one counter and lifelink until end of turn and a destructible until end of turn. It doesn't do anything. He's it a six six. Its power less than, not less than or equal to. Right? Doesn't your oh, it becomes he... a six six? How big is? Oh, uh, yep. I thought he was a four or five in my head. Yeah. All right. Well, I still gain a life. You do. Better believe I do. Might as well cause some chaos while I'm still around. Get that imposter Rith out of here. Get that token out of here. Even though it's cooler art, <laughs> just get it. <laughs> <laughs> I should turn the little the eyes into little X's. <laughs> All right. So then I'm going to. You no, know, let's let's try to make it so Adam doesn't win this. All right. Um, that's Very my possible. Goal. Yep. Um. Uh, both of my... How big is that flyer? This is a 2-2. Two -two. And, and a 2-2 two -two uh, bird. Yeah, okay. So uh, these two have uh, Vigilance. They're swinging at you. Okay. Um, They get... Yeah. What's up? Well, yeah. Just try the rest of your attacks, but they, they get buffed. How? Your czar. Nope, he doesn't get tapped. He has Vigilance. <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> I that, just I realized did. that. I I know you said it earlier. I, that just registered what you said earlier. Uh, that's yeah. funny. Okay, uh, and then uh, all this is going to be at you. Oh, he has vigilance as well. Wait, nothing's attacking me. Nope, it's all at Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was losing a creature. No, well, because I thought I was going to get Rith, deal excess damage to it, and uh, then get a dragon and yeah. use that and the extra life I gain to survive. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I got so exiled. Uh -oh. He's gone. I think I killed him, guys. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, All right. That's I win. <laughs> There's definitely it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be good on the recording. It just won't be... Uh, <laughs> it's just the spell table we're playing. Um, I will... Um, block Balmore with my 2-2 two -two bird. Okay. I will... Chump... Joda, chump your 7-7 seven, seven with my soldier tokens. Sure, so you're taking Tr 8, I think. Wait, where did you block the first one? You, blo uh, you blocked here and here. And you have these three coming at you. No, I blocked the... Yeah, and your Joda. So I blocked your Joda and your Urborg with right, the soldiers. Right, these two. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then your Balmor with the bird. Yep, Balmor with the bird. And then I'm taking the other... Two creatures. Yep. Uh, okay. So, so you're eight. going to take... Yeah. Eight. Yep. I will go He's gone, and then er you're going to take another damage. Everyone's going to take one damage. Nice. It's one, it's, is it one or more? It's whenever another creature you control dies. Oh, oh right. I only, control. One, only one of yours. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, but that's my there last... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm done. All right. Um... Huh. Well, uh, okay. Untap. I had untap. Draw. No idea what just happened there. Give me oh. one second. Uh, oh, did you crash? No, it didn't crash. I'll have to edit this out of the thingy, but my, I think it was an NVIDIA update. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised that went automatically and killed you like that. That's, yeah, I've never had that happen. That's really weird. I just gotta restart OBS. Oh, I really hate it when it does that. I can't believe Ooh. I didn't get to use this token. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a beaut. <laughs> okay. Start virtual cam. Start projector. Okay. I am back up and recording. We are good to go. All right. I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Uh, I have some ideas. I don't really like any of them, though. Adam's Crazy. tapped out. Get I am tapped out. I am tapped out. These may be lands. Yeah, but he, but he has flyers he and well, he only has Aaron, one. You do he has not have one. Flyers. 
Oh, no. I mean, I'm at six. You could just kill me now if you want. Yeah. I mean, I do have big stuff. Like, if it does swing around to me. I only have yeah. one card. I'm trying to work out exactly how much damage I'm going to take on the crack back here. Because, Adam, you've got a seven, seven, six, six, two, four, fours. That's a lot of damage. Oh, uh, it's 21. Oh, yeah. 21. Yeah. Plus a yeah. two, two flyer. Uh, and so I have to take two from the shieldred. I got a really good way to prevent that damage. Just kill him. <laughs> Player removal is... Yeah, dude. I was going to say, you guys only need to do 17 damage and keep shielded a lot. A lot. True. Are you tapped out, Adam? I sure am. Like I said, <laughs> usually, usually whenever I'm the aggressor, I always end up not winning. So. Overextension. Yes, sir. I really probably should have either tried to kill Aaron or tried to kill Ian that turn. Yeah. See, the, the funny thing here is, is that I don't, I think that if I was to be proactive, I end up making it impossible for myself to win. Mm. Not if I think he that's leaves me problem. alive, because we're kind of. Yeah, I was going to say. Non threatening at this point. Minus. I'm at. Well. <laughs> I'm so, at so six. Is, I'd, have yeah, to, I'd have to rely on you, Ian, to be able to remove things possibly multiple times. Is the problem? See, you're dealing with a deck that has a lot of removal. It's true. He, he's been sitting on you, it. You, you can tell I've gotten rid of one, two, three removal spells by not playing them. In my <laughs> true. Graveyard, which means how many are in this little? I don't know. Yeah, it's still just seven it's a, cards. It's a thing I'd have to. <laughs> I feel have to like, play a lot of guesswork on. I have a feeling that they can kill Adam and me, <laughs> and have like a weird little one v one. Yeah, who knows? I, I just have that feeling. Like, I'm at six. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back from that with one card in hand. Yeah. Even with my big creatures, I mean, they got enough. Yeah, I think to... if you were able to steal Rith and make a dragon, you would have been probably fine. But yeah. Well, the fact if I did that, and then every time a dragon entered the battlefield, I would gain a life. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm playing oh, Naya, man. so like I'm I'm playing from the top of my deck, like it's. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, I mean, I, I feel the same way. <laughs> What'd you say? Ian? I said, end the two cards in your hand. Oh yeah, guaranteed land. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't missed a land drop this entire game and I don't intend to. <laughs> a lot yeah, of I think guardians. I... Oh boy. I think I have to do nothing. Oh boy. I think that's the only call. No? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll just pass. Locking it yeah. in. No end step effects. Well that's Puts it in for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw and gain my three life. <laughs> Thanks. To I, hope, I hope he has the X draw spell and just like gains twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna play contaminated aquifer. Nice. Hey, tap lands or lands. Yeah. <laughs> See, I have things, but if I play things, I will instantly become a target what i know this for sure i don't know man i'm at six it's pretty easy to target me i don't think i could kill you uh, i don't think you can either but you can oh, with children i mean i can make it so that next so that when it becomes your turn you die <laughs> <laughs> i mean I, I i feel like that's a really good thing to do um and that leaves me wide just open. Something so satisfying about that kind of kill over just like normal combat. This. <laughs> um. How how do I make the things that I want to happen happen? I'm going to tap one, two, three, 
four five, and I'm gonna play Sengir Connoisseur so that I have a flyer. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty good. And every time you gain a life, oh, and slightly every time bigger. A creature dies, it gets bigger. Oh, it's creature dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was thinking of a completely different card. Yeah. Um, I think with that, I'm gonna pass. Okay. Just I will <laughs> go to seventeen. I will untap. Well, I'll go to seventeen now. Oh, now that's okay. So remember when I said I had lands in my hand? I may and have lied a little. Not a land. I I I lied a little. I had one card in my hand. But I am going to hit my land drop. That's going to happen. Um, all right. Oh, no, this was untapped. Then we're going to go five. Going to play Defiler of Vigor. And then, if that's good, we'll go two. We'll play Corian Beast Caller, triggering the Fire of Vigor. Adding counters to all of my board. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. They get big. It's just, This is weird. I'm not used to playing this kind of magic where I just, like, make big d derpy things and swing. Goes to two. This goes to eight. Okay. Um, Aaron, you're tapped out. No flyers. Uh, can't hear you if you're talking. Yeah? How about now? Gotcha. Yep. Uh, yeah, right. tap, tap out. I, I have been quiet this whole time, though. I haven't really been saying anything. Fair. But you're tapped out, no flyers, right? Yeah, tapped out, no flyers. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, all right, so Ian going to swing at I you. Do, I do have a flyer now. I know, I know. That's small. Um, going to swing at you with Riff and two dragons. And Aaron, I'm going to hit you with the ship and Devastator. Yoda has been defeated. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be oh 17 micromancer off the top would have been nuts oh, oh yeah two for one there would have been good definitely am i okay taking 17 damage what's going at you Ian? it's the riff and the two dragons yeah um okay I let me know what you're thinking. I I have I have an at a mute only have four mana open. Four mana. Uh, I had to tap out a green to play both of those. Um, and yeah, no cards in hand anyway. So I'm, <laughs> I'm jazz hands. So I I have a response. Sure. I'm gonna tap blue to play Rona's vortex. Okay. And return Rith to your hand. Uh, do you have enough to pay for War 2? Oh, no, I don't. Mm. Well. Yeah. No, 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 take it back, take it back. It's fine. Ah. It's, it's, on, it's, it's what, on the board what, tricks there. What am they're... I What am I going to use it for? I've been holding on to it all game. Fair. <laughs> uh, then I guess I'm just going to throw the console. Let me know. Are you and... thinking about blocking here? Yeah, I'm going to block. Okay, how about you don't? Oh, okay, I'm not uh, gonna. Block. I'm gonna pay five, <laughs> uh -oh. and I'm going to broken wings the Rith. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, the word. Lovely. Okay, so I'll still take ten. Ah, uh, yeah. Go to eleven. All right. Yeah, damage has been. And I'll well. pass. I got nothing after that. I'm, I'm jazz hands, so. All right. 
I will untap, draw a card for turn. Take two life. Oh, wait, another creature died, so the connoisseur actually gets bigger. Yep. Through that. Um, <clears throat> what do I got here, huh? Still not quite what I need, unfortunately. Um... Boy, oh boy, what do I want to do here? This kind of boxing league magic definitely reminds me of old school EDH, where it's like more battle cruisery and less combo -y. Wombo combo -y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. I think that's what I like about it so much. Yeah. Back to the back to the roots of EDH in general. EDH popular. Yeah. Because you could still play like reactive creatures and stuff like that, or like controlly stuff, but like it was just less less combo -y. less stupid efficient stuff and more just like raw power stuff wait you mean throwing down 20 squirrels in a turn is it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's more, more thinking of like dockside extortionist but yeah, yeah that yeah it's similar. no no i understand yeah <laughs> oh, oh man boy the, these these first three packs of brothers war are gonna feel amazing yeah i'm so excited yeah, I think like, you're going to make, make me feel a lot better about what I got, too, because I don't think I was really competitive this whole whole match so far. I mean, that's fair. And all, like I said, all the goldfish stuff, I've drawn a majority of my rares and my good cards. Like, this is the good half of my deck. There is a really bad half of the deck in there somewhere. So. Yeah, I feel like you, know, you saw my box. Like, I have rares. I just You're... haven't seen a ton of what I've needed. Really good stuff. Yeah, no, like, like your draw right now is reminding me of, like, the draws when I was 1v1 airing a little bit, like, in practice. Yeah. Like, it's just, this was a very, very solid Rift draw. Yeah. And this is probably one of my best Rift draws, if if not the best. No, no. Here's an idea. Now. Here's an idea. How does this work? Definitely would keep drag to the bottom next time. Mm, yeah, that would have been a good reset. We would have at least gotten rid of the dragon tokens. Yeah. Yeah. This thing of trample, it does have trample. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, might as well go out with a bang. I want to have done something this game, right? Do it. Maybe punk me on some stuff, but we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, I'm going to play a forest. Um, I'm going to tap four and cast Enthrall to the Pit, and I'm going to steal the Defiler of Vigor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have to tap that slightly differently. I'm going to keep a black over there. Sure. Uh, so I'm just going to represent that with my Defiler of Vigor sure, for a moment. Sure, that works, yep. This is, this is stolen. Um, then I'm going to use the Defiler of Vigor to pay one less green for a Bog Badger kicked and pay two life instead. <laughs> Which reminds me, I also have to pay two for the Shieldred. Yeah. So I'm at 19. Uh, all of my creatures now have Menace. Sure do. Um, so that's going to be seven. Uh, I don't. I don't feel like doing the numbers. Uh, Adam, I'm just going to swing all of well, you, you. You also get. You also get counters on from the Bog Badger. Oh, you're right. I do get counters. Maybe yeah. then the numbers uh, do matter. This can't and, swing though. Duh. And that can't um, swing. Yeah, yeah. But you also get a counter. Is it own or control? It's probably control, right? I assume. It's control, I think. Yeah, so yeah. I'm giving you a counter. Uh, yeah, what the, the hell? I'll just home? swing out with these things. I'm I'm curious <sighs> how much damage it is. Uh, it's eight from the Defiler, six from the Wind Grace, and six from the Molten Monstrosity. All right. So. Yeah, I think the best move is for me to. Rona's Vortex, one of Adam's blockers. Yeah, uh, the fly, uh, I'm assuming the expensive one or the beast color, yeah, which the one? the expensive one. Sure. Um, is now, you said everything has menace, Tom? Indeed it does. Yeah, so I just, I have off. to take it in my dead. I think so, yeah. Because it's eight. eight plus another six, which is 14. Yeah, I plus take 20. Six is 20. I take 20. I'm dead. 
Overextension. Vanishes. <laughs> All right, now I get to see what scary stuff Ian has in hand. Go ahead. Uh. Oh, that's that's the scariest thing in the world. I'll play a swamp for turn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to gain your life. Oh yeah, gain my gain my. Oh yeah, life. that's actually like uber relevant right now, huh? Potentially. Um. That was the line of play that I saw, by the way, and why I was like, I can't do anything this turn because I can't guarantee myself a second place if I do anything. Oh, 100%. No, that's that's right. Enthrall is definitely better when there's three players because you can usually take somebody out and make it a 1v1. Yeah. 3-3. Yeah. Three, three. And what I was struggling with was seeing if I could take take one of your flyers last turn and kill Aaron, but I was like, if I do that, I'm just dead to you on board like the turn yeah. afterwards or the turn after that. So. 100%. 100%. Oh, this is... <clears throat> uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start by swinging out. Yeah. Yep. How much is that? Um, it's going to be 2, 4, 8, 12. But I have I have a 2, What's 3, and a 2, 2. So. Oh, 2, 3, and a 2, 2. Uh, I'll block the 2, 3, I suppose. Okay. And then yeah. I'll actually be at 10 instead. Um, and I do gain... The real life off that. So it has lifeling. Okay. So now, with a handful of goodies, I'm going to. One, two. Adam, if you turn him sideways, he looks like he's like dead in a coffin. Oh, good call. <laughs> good call. I like the way you think. Thanks, man. Oh, we're so close to opening packs, y'all. <laughs> uh, we're not because we don't have the fucking things. God damn it! <laughs> I know, so right? Used to the the the, the, the end of the night opening cool three the packs. Yeah. Over. I get to open packs, and I'm excited for it. And then I realize, yeah. no, wait, the box isn't even out yet. Yeah, uh, yeah. This... We're recording this pre pre brothers were release. <laughs> uh, by two days. We're gonna yeah. do some interesting stuff, Tom. Ooh. Oh, I don't like how interesting that is, though. <laughs> Because dangerous interest. <laughs> oh no, that's significantly, uh, significantly not as bad actually. Okay. We got. We got. I'm gonna planes one, two, three, and I'm gonna play. Okay, hold on. Make sure I read <laughs> my cards. <laughs> I I hate. Hmm, can't do, can't do what I wanted to do. Aaron, this picking up, you breathing. Up one more, but that's not going to be relevant in a minute. Sorry about that. My mic got really close to my mouth. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they just do that. They got a mind of their own. They do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This the only thing I can do here is gonna be fun, but for different reasons. I'm gonna tap four. I'm gonna play the phasing of Zelfier. <laughs> I'm gonna no play idea it, what that is. I'm gonna read forward and play it straight on three. Oh wow, destroy all creatures. Okay. Oh, and you just get two twos. Well, that's not nice. Well, both of us. You, get you both get two twos. Every, yeah. Oh, we both yes. get two twos. Yes, Damn. we each get all right. as many two twos as there were creatures. So. All right, so I got three two twos. Nothing what kind for of nothing. Are they? Are they zombies? No, Eight. they're Phyrexian. Uh, Phyrexian oh. creatures. Yeah. Yeah, Probably open some. Curse this one. <clears throat> but... So that goes away. Um, I almost picked up a Sharpie. That would have been a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, these I, are the, I, yeah, this is what the difference would be. I have two. Yeah. Hmm. This the zombie back here will play the part of the third I one. I don't think I opened any of those, but I'll have to check. Yeah, so... I'm, I mean, I'm using the double-sided I opened in my collector's boxes. So. Yeah, collector's boxes. Like, I, ah, I buy know. those. Um, I do still have four manors open, so I need to look at my graveyard, count instances just, like, and sorceries. Start being rude when you tap it out of that, or like what? How does that work? Two, I'm just three. gonna use a zombie for one of these, but the other two are Phyrexians, so I'm just gonna stack them. So I have five instances or sorceries. I can, you know, show them if you sure want proof here. That's five. Um, 
So I only need to tap two more to play Tolarian Terror. <laughs> the heck is that? It's a only five, read five. any of the blue cards in this set. It's a 5-5 five, five with Ward 2. And what's with y'all with all these Ward cards? Come on. <laughs> um, it's just it's just a big 5-5 five, five with Ward 2 that costs yeah, less for gotcha. our sorcerers. Um, and then for the hell of it, I'm going to throw down Inscribe Tablet because I have the mana. Nice. Yep, sounds good. And then I will pass. No more uh, yeah, draw sure. triggers. Um, well, that's exciting. I don't have to, have to just lose life. Uh, draw a card. <laughs> I was I was going to say before. I'm impressed how long that shield had actually stayed on the uh, field. Yeah, well, I learned my lesson, and I'm 100% removing that removal card because I don't even want to think about it in future games. <laughs> Too much math. I I understand. Huh. All right. What the heck do I do with this? I guess the first thing I do, I have... Um, one, two, three, <laughs> four creatures in my graveyard. Uh, so I'm going to tap, um, assuming I can do math correctly, three, and cast a Writhing Necromass. Nice. Mm -hmm. Card sweet. Um, do after that, though. That's the real question. What do I do after that? Battle of the cost reducer cycle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I just keep... Uh, how many cards you got in hand? Two. Two? All right. I think I just keep playing this out, probably. I'm going to play a Swamp and pass the turn. All right. End of your turn, I am going to tap sack my inscribed tablet. Yeah. Uh, it's reveal five cards. I'm going to move this to the side. One, two... Oh, wow. Three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Or come Last on. Last land I see the better on this thing. All right. Um, with that in mind, I'm going to take the swamp. All right. And it goes into my hand. Cool. And the rest of this goes on the bottom. And then I will untap and start my turn. Off your turn. Oh wow. You know, it's like now I have land and don't want it. <laughs> See, that's the funny thing. I'm sitting over here the whole game. I've been like, you know, I'll take more land. I don't care. <laughs> I'll play that swamp that you just saw. So. Did I just see it, or is this a ruse and it's a different swamp? I mean, the fact that there's no swamp in my hand means it's probably. <laughs> uh, but should I believe you? It's... I'm gonna tap. The four. mind games begin. I'm gonna tap four and play uh, prayer of binding on your writhing necromance. Necromass. The flesh exile until it leaves the battlefield. Well, that's no fun. All right, I'm and I get to gain two life. There. Nice. Um, that's going to be over there. And then I guess I'm going to swing with everything. Interesting. Um, I'm going to block the Tolarian. Mm -hmm. And I will block to Phyrexian. Okay. And then I shall pay four. Uh, actually, I probably should have done that first. I don't really care. Uh, I'm gonna pay four to lightning strike the Tolarian. Hmm. Mm, okay. So one of my Phyrexian doesn't die, and everything else. Yes. Does. Yes, and I take two, and I go to eight. All right. <clears throat> All of my Phyrexians are gone. 
What was that? <laughs> I said, haha, I have a creature. <laughs> <laughs> you do. It, it is very relevant at the moment. <laughs> uh, and I'll pass. All right. <laughs> Untap. Draw. It's like, this is definitely magic as Garfield intended. Not saying that sarcastically, <sighs> saying I like that. It actually as it is. Lightning bolts and tutus. I kind of just noticed like a couple things interesting about this game. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think my mistake was not killing Ian outright uh, the one turn. Although I think you might have had me on the backswing, Aaron. So I don't really know. I, I think I, I think I did too. Yeah. I feel like I have to go for the Hail Mary here and just leave myself open. Because you got, what, two in hand? I have two in hand. Things like a sack mm -hmm. thing with a 3-3, three, three, so it probably doesn't get haste. Like, I could get punked by haste right here if I don't defend myself. Um, Who knows? Yeah, let's Hail Mary it up. Uh, I'm going to tap... Uh, a lot. Seven. I'm going to play the world spell. <laughs> oh my gosh and I'm going to look at the top 7 cards of my library If you don't counter it of course uh, Nope I'm not know. going to Alright cool Look at the top 7 cards of your library you may reveal a non-saga permanent from among them Put it into your hand Put the rest on the bottom Alright 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 You get to do this twice 7 sagas <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, not not lands, just just uh, or just, oh, just all yeah. sagas. <laughs> a non-saga permanent card from among them. Okay. It's weird that they specified well, non-saga. I, I did actually. Yeah, it's an interesting one. I did end up with a saga. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you know, you know why it probably says that's this way. If you're somebody who's playing oh. like a standard deck, you can't have multiples of these and just like roll through all of them. I I guess, but like that was my yeah. thought too. Because you'd be looking at, if you hit, if you were like guaranteeing yourself a hit off of it somehow, you'd be looking at like plus 14 cards. You could set up whatever combo you really want with like, you know, non sagas at that point, right? I guess you have to cast the other saga, don't you? Like, it doesn't just put it yeah. into play no. until the well, third it chapter. Will when it gets well, to the yeah, third, yeah, third yeah but like that takes yeah, time it, to get to. I, I don't know. Yeah. You could also yeah. just tutor up a wrath effect, too. Like, there's some well, sagas that wrath. Permanent, right? No, there's sagas that wrath. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Two for um, a spell, maybe. Huh. I think I go for this. That's kind of silly feeling, but um, I'm gonna get a. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to reveal it, right? I assume, yeah, because there's restrictions. Mm -hmm. uh, Alanawar Green Widow. Nice. And the rest nice. are on the bottom in a random order. That is in my hand, and Card, you can cards, go ahead. Cards currently in your hand? Two. Okay. Green Widow plus X. Oh, boy. Okay. Play an island is land for turn. All right. I'm going to swim for two. Go to six. I'm going to tap one of each. Play my general. Yep. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Um and then I'll pass. Now the order for this untap upkeep saga. Untap upkeep draw saga. Okay. Mm -hmm. Untap. Start upkeep. your start of your main draw. phase, which is right after your draw set. Let's see what I drew. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Saga time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's funny how horrendously bad the world spell is in draft, and how how so very good it is in this format. There really is like such a like difference in power. Yeah. yeah especially when you're searching what for your singleton do stuff. I want to go with this. I think it's got to be this, right? Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh.
I'm going to reveal a Liliana of the Veil. Oh. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Oh, you're not playing with the pretty one. <laughs> uh, I didn't feel like banging it up just yet. That's fair. That's fair. I actually rather like how that one looks, and it's something I presumably might play at some <clears> point, <throat> so I'm like, I'd like it to stay nice. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tap three, and we will be casting Liliana of the Veil. Right. Uh, I'm going to minus two it, and you have to sacrifice creature. Yes, I do. I'm going to sacrifice this. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice this. Okay. Um... Then I will tap two and play a uh, Floriferous Vine Wall. Hmm. And I'm going to look at the top six cards of my library. For a creature with Defender, I guess. Uh, it's a land. real land card. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost uh, ran a Defender package in this deck. Yeah. Five of with a, with I thought it. <laughs> real Forest. The Esper has Man. the best defender creatures. Yeah. The Esper color combo no, has three. Oh. So I'll play a Lanawar Green Widow. It's pretty and good. I'll pass. Better than five Interesting. colors. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but you have a lot more powerful things to be running than walls in <laughs> your five colors. Nope. <laughs> not, clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. This is wow. What thing do I not want to deal with most? <laughs> <laughs> Answer none yeah. of it. I think Tom found his powerful cards. Yeah, yeah. I finally hit something that was like re that was like decent and wasn't removed immediately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, World Spell is definitely good for that. Especially when you have to pay spade and mana on it for the next, two, like, the latter two chapters. Um, this is so... Interesting. Um, I'm going to... Your wall is an X an O2. An O2. Your spider's a 4-3. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna enter combat. Yeah. Or do anything. I'm gonna swing. At I good. Uh I'm gonna swing at you. Uh, I'm going to block with a Floriferous Vine Wall. Okay. Okay. So the wall dies? Sure does. Cool. I'm all right with that. Now I get to do other things. I'm going to tap a Swamp and play Bone Splinters. As an additional cast, I have to sack a creature. So I'm going to sack... Dane goes back to the command zone, and I'm going to kill your Green Widow. Sure, sounds good. All right. Then I'm going to tap five and cast the Dane. Yeah. That's probably not what I wanted to do, but it's what I have to do. Cards in hand? Two. Yeah, that was the wrong play, but all right, let's see how it goes. I'll pass. All right, untap. Uh, upkeep. Raw. I'm going to take a look what that is. Okay, that's something. All right. Um, how do I want to go about this? Now we're going to trigger this friend. Yeah. 
So now I get to put two non-Saga permanent cards from my hand onto the battlefield. So I'm going to put a Coalition Warbrute and a Linebreaker Bailoth onto the battlefield. Then I'll proceed with my main phase. Nice. Plus six right now because you've died once. I'm going to go put that there. So that's that or that. What do I want to do? Do I want to draw a card and see what I get? Or. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Uh, how many cards do you have in hand? Two. I'm going to plus one Liliana and I will discard a forest. Actually, I should have just played that first. Whatever. Who cares? I mean, get it back with Soul if you play Soul. So. I will, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to discard this Leyline Binding. Whoa. Yeah. Which is what I should have played on the World Spell instead of playing the Commander. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then I'm going to tap 6, and I will cast the Soul of Wind Grace and pass I'm going to tap 3 and counter that. Okay. Nice. He is countered. The third ties Scorn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my turn now? Yeah. All right. Top deck. Hey, there's the second planes I've needed all game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. What do we got? All right. Um Uh how do I go about this? I think it's a 3/3. Three, three. Yeah. I mean it's uh, it's looking pretty bleak right now. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like the classic Jund uh, has Liliana out, no cards in hand, Just keep yeah. plusing. <laughs> I, have, uh, I, I have no, I have no cards in hand, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. enter combat. Yep. I'm gonna swing with the Coalition Warbrute, and I, I, I'm gonna have to learn this mechanic. I think it's what is it? Tap to enlist it, so this way it gets plus four. Yep. Yeah, that's so I'll, it. I'll take nine. Uh, it should be seven, not nine, I believe, right? Oh, oh, I thought that, that was a five four. Yeah, it's a three four, yeah. and it's adding a four or five's power to it. Okay, so I'm at twelve. Then I will. Uh, you don't have any in hand, right? Yeah, nothing in hand. Oh, boy, um, do I bother wasting the Liliana on this? Probably not. And I can play the. Oh, I get a land. I already have a land in my graveyard anyway. So if I do, yeah, let's do it this way. I'm gonna pay eight and cast Soul Wind Grace again and put a Forest from my graveyard and play Tapped. And then you can go. All right. I will untap everything that was already untapped. I'll pass. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I mean, that's just that's also early game with all of our stuff. It's just a lot of people live off the top of the deck. Yeah. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I can feed the Soul Grace into that, can I? That's interesting. 12, and that would mean that I'd be swinging with something that's pretty big, and you got nothing in hand, so might as well just do it. Um, I mean, you can just kill me. Do I have enough damage on board for that? I got 9, Liliana. 10, 11, 12. You could still block. Oh, yeah, I could just kill you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Minus 2, sack, <laughs> swing out. Yeah. Nice. GG's. You get job, Tom. Nice. Thanks. Zero. Zero. I'm curious what I would have drawn, because I had a Phyrexian Rager to a Crystal Grotto. Which is in my mm. hand, and then I could do discard, discard with soul grace, get rid of it. Yeah. Discard mm. with soul grace again. Oh, picker so good with soul grace. <laughs> to get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice. GG's. That was, uh, that was a good game. Oh wait, yeah. no, I have to do it. Where's oh it? yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Find it. It's important. Uh. I can't believe I actually get to do it now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the 20 minutes of figuring stuff out <laughs> before recording for this. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, man. Well, that was a good week one. Um, so the most exciting part about this, and I, and I can't 
undersell or oversell this enough or whatever. Normally, what we would do is we would just sit here and open three packs and hang out and chat and like start adjusting our decks. Those three packs are hands down the most satisfying packs of magic I've ever opened in my entire life. Um, it's so much fun, especially at the beginning. He saw there our decks were very scrappy. A lot of us were playing off the top of the deck. Aaron got a little little color screwed there. I got air quotes flooded. I had a really good draw, but like overextended. And then Ian got a little flooded there at the end. So like it takes your deck from just kind of this thrown together pile mess and just starts refining it. And it is, it's such a fun process. So we will be doing that once we get our Brothers War packs. And, um, and you can watch the pack openings and uh, see how we adjust our decks for week two. Well, we'll see you all then. Hey everyone, Post Editor Dipbine here. Um, this is going to be our pack opening portion of the video for the week. Unfortunately, we uh, lost a bit of um, the audio portion of these and it, the audio was just unusable. So we're going to display them all here. Um, I know it's a little bit much all, all at the same time, but you can always pause and or rewind, go back, watch all the different perspectives or watch all the packs. We just wanted to display them for, for clarity. Um, there'll be a, these will be a lot different in future episodes now that we have the packs on hand. We, we didn't have these packs at the time of recording our, our gameplay because Brother Wars, Brothers War was not out yet. So, yeah, so we'll have the packs on hand. It'll be a lot different in the future. This is just the first week's video just to see what we've opened up and uh, enjoy the packs. This cute little seal that's probably going to be our mascot needs you all to sub to the channel. Or else it gets the sword! Also, leave a comment down below on what you think we should name him. Thanks for watching, everybody.